stroll like that. Watch him go. Head shaking. <laughs> Isn't that great? It's almost like he's walking to a beat. MJ, elephants don't necessarily like to be by themselves unless they are big males. The big males, like this beautiful male over here, they do move around a lot by themselves. Um, the, the rest of the, the elephant, the herds, the females with all the youngsters, they are always in herds together. They will always be in groups. Um, it's highly unlikely and unusual to find a female by herself. It can happen though, you never say never, but but it's not uncommon to find a big male like this moving around by himself. By himself. There we go. Oh, this is going to be great. Come on and drink and then I wonder, I think what's going to happen and let's see what, what he does, but I think he may splash the water a little bit, a fair amount, just to get rid of some of that algae that's on the bank or close to the to the the edge of the of the bank and then probably try and get some clean water so let's see how what he does you see Sp splashing and spraying there we go there we go ah. <laughs> see just splash that little bit of algae out of the way Eli, all the way from Toronto. I wonder how cold is it there, Eli? I'm sure I've just heard of how cold it can get there. But you want to know um, how can you tell the age of an elephant? Now, Eli, it's not that easy. Judging by, you know, what you could look at the size of the tusks, the thickness, rather, the thickness and size of the tusks. Also, those indentations on the forehead of the elephant. You can actually see this male, you can see them, they're quite prominent. The older they get, the more prominent those become. So I would hazard a guess that this elephant is probably around 35 years old, maybe somewhere somewhere around there. 35, bordering on 40, I would guess. It's, it's difficult, and I, you know... I always say to guests too. I'm not. Yeah, you know, I'm not sure. It's it's hard to age animals. It really is, and I think you you've got to be very careful. I can give you an estimate of how old I think they are, but I think it is tricky to be very accurate when trying to age them. I would say he's probably actually maybe 30 to 35 years old. I think. <laughs> Look at him spraying the water. Now they can take up to, I think it's a big male elephant like this, can take almost 8 or 10 liters of water. So around about between 6 and 8 liters of water up into that trunk. And then they'll... So now with that big sip, they can get a large mouthful of water. And they're sucking up the water with their trunk. And turtle tracking, you wanted to know how much they can drink in a day. It'll be a number of liters. And especially when it's very, very hot. They'll move, constantly move around. And if they come across a, a pan of water or a dam, they'll go drink a little bit and move on. Now I'm not entirely sure. I think it's... I'm actually not entirely sure of the exact amount of water they can drink in a day. But I mean, I would, I would 
guess somewhere between 40 and 50 liters probably quite easily um, if if not more you know that that I would say is probably just an average for an elephant I've seen on hot days before I've been fortunate enough to see elephants swimming in dams much like this one uh, very going very deep um, where literally the just the trunk sticks out of the water and they can be quite playful what's the, what was that around his foot there I thought I saw something move I think maybe it was just his trunk would be great if he decided to bathe and splash himself a little bit um, but as I said they can be very playful when they get to the water holes at times especially the herds the younger elephant I've seen them playing and basically uh, not quite jumping but you know they they lift up and they fall on one another and they uh, it's really really great to see Robin, be you know uh, the hippo would probably just give way of the elephant. The elephant's so much bigger, and and you can see even now that elephants in the water there, the hippo aren't that phased by it. They'll keep a look, uh, I mean a close eye on him. But but the I mean there's a lovely yawn from that one hippo. But the thing is, I think the hippo realises it's a herbivore. It's not a threat. It's just someone, something coming to drink in the water hole. Look at him splashing around there. Oh, <laughs> that's fantastic. So again, I think it's just a case of sharing the water hole and there's no threat or danger. Wow, these Pratt and Coles are all flying back. Those are the birds you can see just coming into view in front of that elephant. But they are incredibly agile. Just seeing them fly now fly very very fast and they very agile they turn very quickly there's lovely light on that elephant look at the tusk shining in the sunlight There's a big yawn from that hippo. Oh, just there we go. Look at that. Look at those teeth. Massive, massive yawn. Now, and again, maybe that is a little bit of a territorial um, show that yawning, possibly the, the, hip, uh, the hippo was a bit agitated with the elephant walking straight through the dam, but, um, but I, I mean, it's difficult to say. I, I don't know. Uh, from what I've seen, hippo just give way of elephant. Elephant and hippo, they don't bother each other. There's no need. And a wonderful yawn. You can see that huge mouth. Can open their mouths up to about 160 or 170 degrees. I mean, that's almost completely flat. It's amazing. Very peaceful sighting. It's great sitting at a dam like this.
There's a Diedrich cuckoo calling behind us. Let's see if I can see it, but I don't think so. It's got that lovely. <whistles> lovely call. Now, I actually think it flew over us because it sounds like that call has gotten further and further away. Now, Sylvia, good question. The elephant, on, I suppose, they actually, you would think they're too big for crocodiles and they're not that vulnerable to crocodiles. However, I've seen footage um, and, and I've seen elephants with scars from crocodiles. When the elephant go and they wade into the water or they, they go and bathe or crossing rivers, um, crocodiles, they take chances. It's amazing. And I've seen footage of a crocodile grab a young elephant by its trunk and try and pull it in. This elephant was flicking the crocodile around. Um, and I've seen... Oh, watch that elephant splashing around there now. Um, I've seen elephants lose tails to crocodiles when they go... Yes, he's going right in. Oh, great. Oh, this is exactly what I wanted. Doesn't that just look like so much fun? Let's see if he drops the whole body under. Look how deep he's going. Well, at least we've got an idea how, of how deep this water hole is over there, this dam. Mm, look at that. I wonder if he'll decide to roll, roll over in the water. Yes, look at that. Oh. <laughs> A swimming elephant, everyone. Yes, there he goes. <laughs> He's running. <laughs> oh, that is great. That is great. This is very special. This is this is just fantastic. <laughs> Looks almost like a, a rock there at the moment. He's really enjoying the water. Just had a, a little kingfisher dive down and get some water. It was a woodland kingfisher, so it definitely wasn't fishing. It just went to possibly get a drink. There he goes again. No, don't go behind the nest. Where are you going? There he comes. Part of me sitting here thinking, oh, how wonderful would it be to be able to swim with that elephant? I wonder what he's doing. <laughs> he's gone. <laughs> See, so elephant, I mean, he's, he's, he can stand there, but he's just going underwater because he's enjoying it so much. But they can swim. Elephant do swim. Especially parts of Botswana, big rivers, um, and up in Zambia, on the Zambezi, uh, you do see elephants crossing and swimming through the water. Just their trunks sticking up. You see it quite regularly there. And you see, I mentioned it yesterday too, you put things out into the universe 
and maybe maybe things happen for you and as I said it would be wonderful if you decided to get in and swim around for us and he did <laughs> this is great oh, that, is, that is wonderful near the hippo there's a hippo in front of him the hippo's going to go and join him look at that See, again, there's, I suppose that answers our question. The hippos don't mind the elephant in the water. They're just, uh, they're just keeping an eye on him, but they're not phased. And also, I mean, would you, would you go to an elephant and say, listen, I think you need to get out of our water hole? No, I don't think so. Size does matter out here. Is he going to investigate the tree? I know, what's he doing? Oh, that is interesting. Hope he doesn't decide to tip the nest over. He's on his side, he's just, uh, did you see that he flipped onto his side? Mario, the elephants do breathe through their trunk. That's why they stick their trunk out of the water. So they will breathe they'll, and they'll be able to breathe through their trunk. They also breathe through their mouth. But, um, but just like our noses, we, um, he's able to stick a trunk out and breathe. And that's why he'll often lift it out of the water, just to get a breath of air. starting to warm up now quite a bit the sun beating down on us watching this peaceful sighting the elephant swimming if I doze off I do apologize it's just so peaceful <laughs> Craig are you still awake mm -hmm. <laughs> for now Wasn't that special? <laughs>